Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're making bacon. Stick around! Okay, so for our the bacon that we're going to uh, cure today, we have three pounds of pork belly that we're going to cure. Um, it's it's vital that you know you know the weight of the pork belly that you're going to cure because that is how you're going to come up with the dry cure that we're going to use to put on top of this and let it sit. So the first thing we're going to do is we have 14 grams of brown sugar, 14 grams of white sugar, 14 grams of black pepper, 28 grams of regular salt. And then this is very crucial when you're measuring out everything. This is your curing agent. It's prog powder number one. It's only 3.4 grams for that three pounds of pork belly. So we have what is essentially our cure. I will put in the description and in our recipe how you come up with the, uh, the grams for each one of these ingredients. And now we're just gonna go ahead and mix this. Try to, you can use your fingers to bust up that brown sugar. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cure and we're gonna rub this in real good all over this pork belly. You're gonna to wanna to get all sides. I did remove the skin from this. So we're gonna put the back side here. And whatever is left here on this board, we're actually gonna go ahead and put right into the, the bag. So as it sits, you're gonna get a lot of juice that's being drawn out of this pork belly. And that's what you want. This is gonna sit for about seven days. Uh, from the time that you put it into the bag. Each day you want to get in there and flip it around and press the, the seasoning and the cure into the meat. So now what we're gonna do is we have a, just a gallon Ziploc bag. We're gonna stick this down in there. Now we're gonna get the rest of this into that where we can, try to get all of it. Now you can see it's covered really well. You try to get all the air out of here. And that's what it'll look like. You can see it's already starting to draw out some of the moisture. And again, every day you'll go in, flip it over, rub it in a little bit, and then the next day flip it back over to the other side. And it'll take about seven days and you'll have cured pork belly or better known as bacon. Okay, and with the mag magic of television, uh, we actually went ahead and we cured some of this last week. Uh, we started it and this was in for a week and then last night we pulled it out, we rinsed it off real good, dried it and then we placed it on this rack and left it sit uncovered in the refrigerator to, to form that pellicle you see on there. It's kind of tacky. Uh, it dries it out real good, it's going to help the smoke stick to it. We got our uh, vertical offset running right now. We're going to put some apple wood in it uh, for the smoke flavor. We're going to go ahead and hang these in it for about two hours, get up to about 155, and we're going to pull this off and let it cool a little bit and slice it up and give it a try. So we have our hooks here that we're going to put, hang the bacon on. So we're just going to come down. inch or so like that and then that bacon will hang right in that smokehouse or in our smoker just like that and we want to do the same thing over here so in about two hours or so we're gonna have some Fresh smoked homemade bacon. Let's go out to the smoker. Get you some. Get you some of that. <laughs> okay, so we've added our apple wood. We got some light smoke coming out of the top of this. We're sitting at about 175, and that's where I want to be for this cook. I have my charcoal. We're running some Jealous Devil. We got it off to the side in the firebox. 
That way it's not getting as hot up through there. We want to try to keep this as low and slow as possible. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And this is what we typically do all of our sausage in uh, when we make homemade uh, smoked kielbasa. So we're just going to go ahead and hang these on the hooks in here. And I don't know if you can see or not, but the, the heat flow is coming in from here. Typically, this side of this smoker is, is hottest on the left side. So I'm going to hang these off to the, to the right so it, so it smokes a little bit slower. And we're going to check these in about an hour and see how they're doing. Okay, so we're two hours in on this smoke. Uh, our fire started to die and we reached 155 on the internal of this bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. You can see the color on that is beautiful. It's got some good apple smoke to it. Go ahead and take this out. It did shrink up a little bit. Oh man. Smells amazing. Now we just have to let those cool. And we're gonna slice some up and fry it and give it a try. Okay everybody, so we've let this cool for a little while. Ideally, you'd want to let it cool overnight. But we're gonna go ahead and we're kinda of anxious to try this. We got a skillet that's you can tell it looks pretty. We got a skillet back here, it's heating up. We're gonna go ahead and make some slices on this. I prefer my bacon to be a little on the thicker side. So we're gonna go ahead and cut down through there. Go ahead, we got our frying pan going on over here, cast iron heating up. We're gonna throw a few pieces of this in there and fry it up, give it a taste. Okay, we got our skillet heated up here. Just gonna go ahead and drop some slices down in there. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We uh, went ahead, we sliced up some of our bacon that we smoked today that had been curing for a week, and we fried up a few pieces of it so we could try it. Ideally, you probably wanna let this sit a few days, let it take in more of that smoke, but we're gonna give it a try now. Oh, wow. Excellent. Mm. Smoke flavors, the sugar, it's sweet, not real salty. And that's why I like making this kind of stuff at home myself because everybody's trying to watch their salt intake. This is a real easy way to do it. You buy store-bought bacon, a lot of times it's real salty. This bacon is excellent. Real good flavor profile, real good smoke profile. Give this recipe a try. Thank you for following us on all the socials. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. See you next week. <laughs> right. Oh my god.